Great Recession's threat of homeowners falling into foreclosure has given way to an outbreak of predator enterprises. These entities promise financial assistance to families on the brink of losing everything and often wind up pushing those families over the edge. Senior correspondent Marie Denoya Aronson reports on one woman who fell for a scam but wound up landing on her feet. Blanca Cortez is not the gullible type. She's earned two college degrees and has a fair amount of experience buying and selling real estate. But two years ago, when she found herself unemployed and facing foreclosure, she was desperate for help. That's when she found Short Refi Now on the web. But she thought, not so fast. I checked them with the Better Business Bureau because, um, but because they were fairly new, they didn't show up in the Better Business Bureau yet, but they did show in commerce. So I was like, okay, if they show in commerce and they're giving me a letter saying that they'll give me my money back, then I was like, okay, let me go for it. So she sent them the $2,800 they requested. That's when the company became the subject of a lawsuit, leaving Blanca in the same foreclosure predicament, but $2,800 Horror. Community development advocates say the worst thing about scams like this is just how devastating the results can be. For families with teetering financial stability, a $2,800 loss can be enough to drive them right over the edge. Oh, I couldn't sleep at night, and every day I was thinking, oh, when do I have to leave the house? When are they going to tell me to leave? But in Blanca's case, relief arrived in the form of the foreclosure notice itself. The sheriff finally came and gave, served me the foreclosure papers, and he told my son, because my son received the papers, to call a number that's on there, an 800 number. And then I was like, that they could help. And I'm like, yeah, right, they're going to help. They were La Casa Don Pedro, a Newark-based nonprofit and HUD-certified counseling agency affiliated with the Newark Urban Essex Foreclosure Task Force. And they did help, securing a permanent loan modification and keeping Blanca Cortez safe at home. Ali Reese is with La Casa. She says foreclosure rates here are still rising. We are hoping that we have sort of gotten to the peak, but based on the calls that we are, we are getting, we're still thinking that we're not quite peaked yet. Um, and Essex County is one of the hardest hit counties in the state of New Jersey and really in the country. These are stories that are repeated all over the country. Nelson Merced is with Neighbor Works America, a quasi-federal agency, a nonprofit, which is working to stem the tide of these crooked companies. It is hard to track them all down. They're very flexible. They're very quick. Um, but you can tell there's, a, there's some red flags that you can tell right away. The number one red flag, if the company asks for money up front. Blanca Cortez fell for that. Today, she is grateful she was able to find her financial footing before she lost her home. Marie Denoya Aronson, NJN News, Bloomfield.